Hello everyone, I'm Todd Hilton from Nowhere Video Productions, and I'd like to welcome you to the first edition of Nowhere Video's Back Burner Breakdown. This is a short series that I've developed in order to dive into the Nowhere Video archives, which has been housing some back burner projects for many, many years. And when I say many years, I mean some of them more than 20 years. No joke. These projects have not seen the light of day since they were shot. And I want to take a look at some of these projects and give you an idea on what's in store. What's left that still has not been released that should have been out a long time ago. So I'm going to take this opportunity to pick out some of these projects. Uh, there's about half dozen or so projects that uh, have not been done. They've been shot, they've never been edited, and they're long overdue. I'll give you some commentary and also some background on each one of these projects, what they were about, and maybe why they didn't get released when they should have. So how do these back burner projects come into existence in the first place? How does that even happen? Well, primarily the main reason is a problem that I have had since I was a kid. I would come up with these great ideas, I'd get started on them, and then at some point I would come up with another awesome idea. And then I'd be like, oh, I gotta work on that. I'll get back to that other one, but I wanna do this now, I wanna work on this. And this has been repeated in my life again and again and again. So bringing us up to present day, and now because of this repeated behavior, which I'm well aware of, it has caused me to have all these back burner projects. They've gotten put aside for the next big thing. And some of them, because the process has happened so many times, they've been forgotten and buried. So now I want to take a look at these back burner projects see where they're at and see what can be done with them. Over the last few years, I've made a solid effort to get these back burner projects out and share them with you. These are projects, again, that have been in the archives for a long, long time. And uh, I have been taking the opportunity, uh, especially during the pandemic here when there's uh, not a lot to get out and do, so I've been taking the opportunity to catch up on some of these projects that have been long overdue. So long overdue that uh, many of you folks watching today are probably not even aware of. They would have been announced back when they were new, when they were in production, and they were never finished. And they get locked in the archive, and there they have sat for... 10 years, 20 years, longer. So now let's take a look at some of these and I'll give you an idea what they're about. In this first edition, we're gonna be taking a closer look at a project called Road Trips, the Reno Movie. This was a project that was supposed to come out in the early 2000s. Originally, it was going to be a combination of the 1996 Reno Adventure and the 1999 Reno Adventure. Uh, I was going to combine the two trips and flip-flop back and forth between them and showing stuff that was cut out, uh, basically making it an uncensored uh, movie format. Uh, well, after giving it some thought, uh, the one that really needed further attention was the 1996 Reno trip which was the episode of Road Trips that really put our series on the map. It was, a, uh, uh, it was just a fantastic trip. You know, you get three guys in a truck on a 12-hour drive. Believe me, hilarity will ensue. So there was a lot of material that was cut out of that episode, this two-part episode, that... Uh, for us in the Nowhere Video family became infamous. This, this was just hilarious footage, but it was a little too hot, a uh, little too spicy for a, 
uh, family-oriented show like Road Trips. So obviously the footage was saved and I came up with the idea to make it into a movie. And again, the idea was put together. Uh, the movie was never started. Obviously the footage was there because we'd already shot it. We shot about five hours worth of footage that I cut down into two one-hour episodes. And it was the friendly, uh, entertaining version that people saw on public access. But I knew because there was so much good stuff that was a little more adult friendly, that it would make a great full length production of some kind. So Road Trips the Reno movie was the idea that came out of that uh, after deciding to not include the footage from the 99 trip and focus specifically on the 96 trip. This is one of those projects that uh, it was, it was one of those, I just couldn't get started on it. I had the footage, I was familiar with the stuff that I had cut out that was really funny, but that's as far as it went and I never sat down and actually got started on it. It was basically like re-editing the episode, but instead of cutting out things because of language or content, for the show, I had to cut it for not only time, but uh, it had to be family appropriate. So I had, well, basically three and a half hours worth of footage that got cut out that could be used for the movie. Obviously, there would be some overlapping scenes between the uh, TV version and the, and the movie version uh, just for story's sake, for continuity's sake, but uh, yeah, again, I never sat down and got to work on it. Uh, in fact, at the time of this recording, I have just started working on it. Uh, I did make an attempt uh, uh, some years back, probably about six years ago. I tried to get on it, and I just, I ran out of steam. I, I just, I couldn't sit down and do it anymore. I spent a lot of time working on the intro. Uh, that's one of the things I've, uh, I've always prided myself in is creating really cool intros. Uh, it's been my belief that if, if, if the intro gets your attention, then the show must be worth watching. That's kind of been my mindset. So uh, with that, let's, uh, let's take a closer look at some of the footage for Road Trips, the Reno movie. All right, we're taking a look at Road Trips, the Reno movie. Uh, this is going to be an uncensored version of the 1996 Reno adventure. And uh, I'm actually actively working on this project right now. Um, it's about, I'd say, 80% done. Uh, but we're going to take a look at some of the... Uh, behind the scenes uh, or some of the extra footage that uh, you didn't see in the family friendly version so we'll say that uh, we'll say that here and we won't let you My so this part here was actually it. in the Ooh. This was in the original version. What's that? Who's Jeff Fox from this song? Yeah. Funny oh, thing about this, this was the only day. song we listened to on the entire trip. Alright boys, we are off. Yeah! Ah, let's do it! <laughs> no talk about work. Except for Bill King and what a dick he is. Yeah, just drive. It's okay, dude. Just drive. Dude, that's my fear. They're going to be a little bit of a circle. We lose that car. My sister's going to kill me. So, yeah, there's a good portion of this <laughs> show that, uh, that was okay to show to, to general audiences. But there's other stuff like uh, Kevin messing around with this, this condom here. 
Yeah. We're just There's running through Scaboos here. There's crazy stuff in this show. We're just about out of Scaboos. did not get aired. Which is a good place to be. Uh, only 1237. Uh, we're 1238. We're right me. on time. We're, right? Yes, we are. We're out. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, uh, oh what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Always remember to practice. Are you rolling? Yeah. Okay, uh, we're practicing safe broadcasting here. As you can see, I opened a uh, uh, kiss of mint uh, condom and uh, even smells like mint. Oh, yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we're we're practicing safe broadcasting here. So so um, yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff that got cut out, and I'm not gonna go too much into some of the more explicit scenes. Uh, but there's there's so much good stuff. Oh, just great. It's all resting. <laughs> Smile, you're on candid camera. Just smile, you're on candid camera. All right, how the hell you get out of this? Turn around. Whip it around? That way. <laughs> Not that, the truck. <laughs> you got stop focus. sign, so. Right. Okay, folks, just to let you know, is this on automatic oh, focus? Auto focus. Come on there, Mr. Washingtonian. Okay, just to let you know, uh, okay. um, so we're at a rest area just south was, of Salem. Uh, into a fancy dress store and announced to the owner, I'm the greatest salesperson ever and I want a job. That's quite a claim, the owner responded, but unfortunately I don't have any openings. Undaunted, the salesperson asked, how many dresses do your best employees sell in a day? Eh, yeah, five or six, the owner answered. Without blinking an eye, the fellow claimed, I'll sell 12 and I'll do it without pay or commission. The owner, knowing, it, knowing she couldn't lose, agreed. And indeed, just an hour before closing, the new salesperson had sold 18 dresses. Do I get the job now, he asked. She says, I've got one more test for you, the owner declared. She went back to the storeroom and then came out with the most hideous dress imaginable. Sell this dress by the time the store closes tonight and you've got a job. 45 minutes later, the guy marched into her office and threw down the sales receipt. I'm impressed, the owner admitted in amazement. You've got the job. How on earth did you convince somebody to buy that thing? Yeah, getting a woman to buy it wasn't a problem. Our part was bringing her seeing eye dog. Yeah. That's when my dog started looking good to me. This just went on and on and on. You know, when you take when you take a twelve hour drive with your buddies and uh <laughs> you're on your way to some place like Reno, hilarity will ensue, I guarantee it. Okay, the bandit. Okay. Form would be in good shape. Food, diesel, gas, camping. Okay. Wait, salvation may just be ahead. Our <laughs> <laughs> salvation, salvation is giving us hit. <laughs> oh hell, we can make it to the next one. 25 miles to the gallon. Go down through. Uh, yeah, we were gonna go down through. Uh, no, right before that, something summit. Shasta. Uh, Mount, Mount, Sha Mount Shasta. Yeah, paper maps. Yeah, this was a while ago. We're gonna turn off at. Uh, Yeah, some of the stuff that was cut out isn't necessarily hilarious, but it's bonus pieces that you didn't see in the original version. Just just gives some extra depth to the uh, to the show. Let's see. 
down I-5. <laughs> didn't even know Todd had his shot. Did you? No. But yet somehow this asshole on the California inspection tour <laughs> knew that Todd... That I need to look at any fruits or vegetables we're bringing into California. Just Todd. Todd. <laughs> yeah. Todd and Mark. Well, alrighty then. We've uh, pa successfully passed the fruit inspection and they've given us this wonderful little California travel ideas. <laughs> yeah, no, Which we're planning on giving we'll back, back to them. We'll get down up. the road here a mile and we'll see all these <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this. Yeah, fuck California written all over them. Yep. But if I ever had one thing... Oh, yeah, this is good. That time to the other lovely maid was tapping by. One said to the other with a twinkle in her eye. Seeing sleeping scots with so strong and handsome built eye. Wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath their kill. Ring ding the little eye, yo! Ring da diddly eye, yo! I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath their kill. They crept up on that sleeping Scotsman no quiet as could be. They lifted up his killed about an inch so they could see. There before the rise was more than it was worth. Was nothing more than God had graced him with upon his turn. Ring ding the little light, yo! Ring the little light, a rare uh, sing-along there, Mark and Kevin uh, singing a song I had never heard in my life. Uh, so that, that was another uh, interesting part that was cut out of the episode. Uh, that was more of just time restraints. <laughs> yeah, there's, there is just some fantastic material in some of this. So we're we haven't crossed the border. I knew we, we actually. Yeah. Okay. I can yeah, do this. <laughs> Our stay at the Pioneer Inn, which uh, no longer exists, they tore that down uh, sometime. Uh, sometime in the early 2000s, uh, the hotel that we stayed at. Oh, and we were, uh, Mark and I trying to record our version of Garth Brooks' The Dance. We got about five minutes left on this thing. Let's do just like Buddhas. All right. We actually added uh, a third verse to uh, to the Garth Brooks song, and uh, unfortunately, we didn't get we didn't get us singing that verse on camera. Okay. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> I thought Mark and I did pretty good on our, our uh, duet here. It's been a long time since I did this song. Looking back on the memory of the dance we shared neath the stars above. Oh, this is a long time ago. I still had hair. How could I 
and my signature ponytail I used to have in the mid 90s. I could have missed the pain that I'd have had to miss the day. So we got almost completely through the song. We had just started the third verse and we blew it. <laughs> that, that never stops being funny. Ugh. Yeah, this is part of this uh, of the Road Trip Sereno movie. It, it's going to be like an extended version of the original show. Uh, th there's just going to be a lot more stuff, uh, a lot more stuff left in. Uh, uncensored uh, there will be there's still things that will be cut out just because it's uninteresting it's boring it's you know nothing's happening you know when you take a 12-hour drive there's gonna be some dead time so there's definitely stuff that that's gonna get cut out uh, yeah a good chunk of the stuff that we did while we were in Reno uh, will remain the same it's it'll be cut a little bit differently oh yes yeah, this is our first attempt at the ending we were supposed to shoot it as if it were the final part of the show and uh well kevin actually screwed this up okay folks and mentioned that we're well um this is the end of our road trip. Uh, we're about to say goodbye Whoops. to Reno and uh, head off to uh, Mustang Ranch off down there somewhere. We're not sure where it's at. We're getting Actually, laughs from that person that just walked by. So, Which direction yeah. is it, by the way? No. <laughs> ah, Fern Lake. Okay, we got that. So anyways, uh, we're... Actually, Whoops. This is supposed to be out of sequence. Okay, so, like the very so forget this. So we're going to start over. Yeah. Okay, folks, here we are right out front of the Pioneer Inn, which is where we uh, was it's our residence. It's probably a good thing that we reshot the inn and, uh, because uh, the audio wasn't very good. This special edition uh, of road we were a little trips. farther away from the camera. Uh, this, this angle here is what we ended up actually using for the, for the ending. And, of course... Yeah, and there's some extra stuff. Uh... <laughs> well, and that's uh, and that's it from here at the uh, the Reno Hilton here in Reno, Nevada, on location. Give, give, give a shot of this. What a feeling! Oh man. <laughs> Uh, Todd, we need you to do what a feeling for us. <laughs> I only loosely knew what they were talking about, okay. but we had a lot of running gags. Okay, we're looking this trip. now at the casino here at the Hilton Hotel. Man, that John Denver's full of shit. He is. We actually hey, shot footage on the way home. Um, not much ended up happening with that footage, but we did shoot a little bit. I uh, just spent the last three days in Reno and uh, we had a really good time. We uh, celebrated Kevin's birthday while we were down there. And now you're seeing some of the uh, mountains here in uh, Northern California. Some of the footage that was shot on the way home uh, on the Reno trip was actually just a lot of scenery. But it's, uh, it was a beautiful drive uh, up there through Northern California. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs>
flooding has been seen. And <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> uh, yep, that was. Uh, Don't anybody. You're a dead man. <laughs> One of the well, clips that was the definitely day. cut out of the out of final version. Uh -uh. Yeah, there, there's, there's just too much good stuff <laughs> in this. Uh, some of the some of the drive home footage uh, I'll probably end up using as filler. Let me see here. I, I believe I believe most of this footage here uh, was shot through Northern California. Uh, well, Northern California, Southern Oregon, on the way home. Just beautiful landscape. It was a nice day. Uh, I, I just love that part of the that part of the drive, you know. Even though it's just it's just trees and blue sky, but it was just so peaceful. And uh, this was actually shot from the back of Mark's truck. Uh, this footage here, so I, I took a few snippets of uh, of some of this uh, this unused footage. And uh, again, uh, I'll probably use it as some filler uh, between shots, uh, if I, especially if I have like a, kind of a jump cut between between scenes uh, where it, you know where it's just too abrupt and it doesn't make a lot of sense. Throw in uh, one of these uh, filler shots just to kind of break up the the clips. Uh, so just just every so often here and there. But uh, yeah, just beautiful scenery. Uh, when I was watching this footage recently. I, I, I was reminiscing about the trip. I'm like, wow, you know, this this really was. Uh, uh, it was a uh, an underrated part of the trip. You know, we really didn't talk about it too much. Uh, all three of us took a turn riding in the back of the truck, and. Uh, as it turns out, I mean, that was actually one of my favorite parts of the trip, uh, was that ride. So, uh, yeah. So without giving too much away, um, that's about it. Uh, so look for Road Trips the Reno movie, uh, hopefully coming out soon. Uh, this is a project that dates back to... Uh, 1999 2000 right in there is when i originally came up with the idea uh, for the reno movie and uh it's taken me this long to actually get around getting uh, around to completing it and like i said it's it's about 80 percent done at this point uh, i still have to put uh finishing touches on it uh have to create uh an introduction for it. Uh, I actually had an introduction made for it, but I this introduction uh, dates back a little ways, and I was going to uh, I was going to remake that introduction. Uh, you know, we were going to have this. Uh, uh, road trips, the Reno movie. Uh, this was the uh, this was the original title screen here that I'd come up with. This was done. Uh, this is this isn't the first time I've touched this project, uh, but I made this screen about maybe six years ago, and I, I've actually learned a lot since then. So that's going to get a facelift, uh, and there will be an entire uh, introduction sequence that follows the uh, that follows the original opening to the show. Where the three of us are standing in the parking lot uh, at a local grocery store. And uh, yeah, this this will go down in history here. Uh, this is so I'll I'll end here with a, a peek at the the new opening.
<laughs> okay. okay. Well, what do we say? Uh, this I'll just, is... just follow my lead. I'll be doing most of the talking. Alrighty then, bye-bye now. <laughs> Following your lead. That's not... Alrighty then, bye-bye now. Bye-bye now. Alright. Let's get this thing on the road. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um, <laughs> Go ahead, Tom. Hi, I'm Todd Hilton, and welcome to Road Trips. This is a special edition when uh, my uh, co-host for this edition, Mark Johnson and Kevin Thornton, so will be that's taking you do to it. Uh, for this first edition of Nowhere Videos Back Burner Breakdown. This will be Road Trips: The Reno Movie, which is currently being worked on. Uh, it's about 80% done, and hopefully, it will be out soon. Uh, I'm Todd Hilton. I want to thank you for watching. Keep checking back with Nowhere Video Productions for updates on this project and other projects. Uh, we will have other editions of Back Burner Breakdown, so you can check out other projects that have been stuffed into the archives and try to get them out in the light of day. So I'm Todd Hilton. I want to thank you for watching.